Hello everyone in the decks here. I made a quick update to my um, infinite geothermal energy uh, factory. I read some of you guys' comments and you said that you can um, condense energy into lava cells and it's actually true. It's uh, very simple. You put a lava cell here and equivalent exchange uh, knows to recognize this item and create it for you. Now, this system works, there is no doubt to that. Geothermal generators receive lava cells no problem and generate energy for you. However, there are a few differences between this and my previous system. Uh, the biggest and the most, uh, most important one is that lava cells require 128 EMC to generate. Redstone requires 64. Now, that's a very important one because one lava cell is equal to a lava bucket in terms of liquid volume, meaning that in order to fill a geothermal generator completely, you need either 24 cells or 24 lava buckets. So basically, because you need twice the EMC to create it, you're having, you're basically getting only 50% of the output you could get if you would use redstone. However, the benefit from this uh, system is that you don't need a Vulcanite amulet, which is quite uh, an end game item and uh, which might save you some time. You could get this system running earlier uh, this way. So basically up to you. And that's it. It's, uh, basically it's also a very cleaner setup and you save room. You can place much more geothermal generators instead of all the other system I had here. And that's it. Thank you for your time. And please subscribe.